YouTube is so you can get footage next right here, baby. Oh yeah. I'm gonna put some on the channel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. What's up? We got off work. I'm chilling here. I, soon, as soon as we got off, I came home, showered, got cleaned up. I ate a, a quick little cereal. Um, right now, we got something pretty interesting. This is why I cannot have Facebook Market. So, I found this truck. And I don't know if y'all can see, they're only asking 650 bucks. As you can see, hopefully hopefully it's focusing. There we go. It's a 93 short bed, step side. The interior looks pretty clean. Bench seat, the dash is all there, um, but it doesn't run. I wanna say it's got like the 350 in it, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna take you guys with me and we're gonna go check it out. It's pretty cheap, honestly, it's really cheap. So this is my plans guys, the 5.3 that I pulled out of my Z71, the one that I did the LS swap, the 60 swap, that 5.3 I have planned to build it while I'm building the motor, I'm getting the, the body, this truck painted, which is comes with the motor, we're gonna go check it out, but that's my plan, clean it up, get some paint on it, and then put while it's after it's done, it's gonna be little by little. It's gonna be definitely a project, a project truck. After the paint and body is done and good, hopefully that 5.3 is already ready to go. Rebuilt, performance parts, uh, maybe a small cam or a heavy cam, depending on, on where I'm at <laughs> financially and just like, I guess location wise, because our apartment lease is gonna be going up in four months. But, anyways, I went off in a whole different fing subject. Let's go look at this truck. Here it is. It's a 93 Silverado. The body's pretty straight. Um, the door hangs a little bit. This this fender's gonna have to be replaced. I don't know if y'all can see that. He, I don't know what motor this is. It's He's done a whole bunch of stuff to it, but I'm obviously gonna get it either rebuilt and use that same motor, or I'm just gonna pull it out completely and do the, the 5.3 out of my white truck. But here she is. Let me close all this how it's supposed to go. Okay. Let me close the door. This is going to be my next. I'm so excited about this. I'm, I'm really excited about this, guys. I'm not going to lie. I'm just going to have to figure out a way to get it back to Texas. Yeah, I need some shit done to it. But overall, for what I paid, I think I'm... I'm honestly on the positive side positive end of this deal because this truck back in texas is worth well over what i'm paying for it well over uh, but yeah guys here she is expect to see this on the channel a whole lot more a whole lot more it's really not that bad Now I just gotta figure out how to get it back to Texas. How to get it back to Texas. I'm pretty sure y'all can tell I'm excited about this. <laughs> the wheels are clean. There's no rust under it. Once I get it all cleaned up, which will probably be on the next video, thought I was gonna take it to Houston, but we have a really good body, sh body shop guy, body guy, paint guy there in White House, Texas, so that's where it's gonna go. I'm gonna have to figure that part out, but for now, I'm gonna go ahead and, and secure it because I can't let this go by. He, he pulled up and he told me that he had a bunch of messages over it. And I believe it. I believe it. He posted it yesterday and I saw it this morning and I messaged him. So I was not about to let this pass up. Even if it's a, a bad deal, whatever, um, I know I can make my money back off of it. I'm gonna have to put new, new seats in it because it's got the bench seat in it. I'm gonna put bucket seats, window, just little stuff. It's it's obviously a project. But all right.
guys. So now I'm just waiting on the guy to pull up so we can finish the deal, seal the deal. We'll see y'all after I head out. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to take it with me right now. So we're gonna we're gonna figure that out <laughs> as we go. I'll probably come and get it tomorrow. I don't know, but I have to seal the deal. Regardless, if I take it uh, now or this weekend, um, I'm gonna get it. So yeah, we'll see y'all after we leave here. Two nine. No, they they had they had the stand up mowers. It was two white boys. Hey, wait, and you got Rafa inside the house. Table that turn, cuz. Oh, dude, if I was here, I would take a picture of that. I hey, I'm fucking. I mean, be like, over here, I'm gonna do a little bit different. Bro, why don't you tell us that? Mexican sit back. <laughs> oh, yes. My favorite. Hey, hey I'm about to go through the footage. Hey, put it on the north side. I can't feel what I said. Hey, this is. Both strapped this Give me all your money, man. <laughs> Guys, y'all should have seen how we loaded this thing up. It was wild. We used Jody's truck with a bunch of straps while he was hooked up to his truck. He jackknifed, he had to turn his truck all the way to the right and then back it up so he could jackknife the trailer. And his truck was like right here, pulling it straight on. It was just, it was crazy. I should have gotten a video, but we got we got early. We finished what we had to do here in Alabama today and we were ready to go back to Texas, but somehow we ended in, we land, uh, ended, I'm tired guys. Somehow we ended in Biloxi. Um, but the ass end is seized. This was flat. Um, I don't know if I fucked up the rims. No, I don't know. But he gave me the, the other rim or that side in the back. Interior, this window's busted. That one I rolled down. Got the U-Haul. It was a pain. Fucking after work. After we went to this one place and they quoted me the same fucking trailer, it was like 580. I went, I looked up on my phone and I got quoted at the actual U-Haul store. It was, I paid two, 220 without the insurance. But yeah. Fuck that up. <sighs> right now we're looking at Airbnbs. We're gonna crash here in Biloxi for the night and then head out tomorrow back to Texas. We're gonna go straight straight to Texas, but that's a long ass drive. <clears throat> that wheel has to come off. That's this the one that he gave me. So much small ass bed. But all right, guys. Um, I guess we'll see y'all back in Texas because I I'm I'm not gonna lie. I've been out of it for the past like day we haven't been eating too good um, we've been like grumpy we've been working just busy so i figured i'd update y'all a little bit update y'all a little bit before we head out we'll see y'all in texas hey wait what did you bring wait i'm gonna oh yeah okay pinchy what'd you bring me no. Not really good. Yeah, sugar cookie, that one? There's two of each in there. This is that one away? Really good? Better than Subway? Mm hmm. Okay. Mm mm mm. I wish Dragon. Oh, the fucking rope. The rope that they had on there. <laughs> Get it, Wayne. Fuck it. I'm ready to go home and sleep. I'm ready to sleep. All right. We'll see y'all. We're going to head back to Texas. We found an Airbnb.
813. We're about to head out. We were going to stay in Biloxi, as y'all saw, but we messed up with the Airbnb. We booked it, and it's like, how far was it from, from Biloxi way? Like an hour? It was about an hour and 15. Yeah. It wasn't bad at Rimby. Pretty good. I like that. I passed smooth out. But I'm about to hop on nights in and head back. Show me, show me fit. Straight back. My what? Fit. Show me fit. Sir. Show me this fit right here. This is where you can get footage next right here, baby. Oh, yeah. Put some Honda on the channel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I it, saw it. It ain't, it ain't always about Chevy, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a video you sent me last night. Bye. <laughs> hey, caught up to his ass. Nah, this dog will not quit barking. Will not quit barking. <sighs> what? Chill out. Dicen que soy mamón, también que soy culero. No les pongo atención y muy poco les creo No sufro de conciencia, yo cuido mi cuero Se me activa el instinto con un buen veneno